hello and welcome this is nishant and uh, this video is part 2 of the online kentico forms which uh, we have created in the last video so this is my kentico application and uh, let me give you a brief idea about the last video we have did so this is our kentico forms and we have created a form in the last video as employee and uh, we have placed that form into the uh, page of the uh, application so today we are going to discuss if we want to create this form as a custom layout so if we want to do our own customization in the form as well as our own validations so we can do that let's go to the kentico form so this is our forms application let's edit this form and go to the layout of layout tab of the kentico form so you can see this is right now here as automatically selected generated form layout which we have created in the form builder tab so this is the uh, form we have created in the last video let's create this form via custom layout let's go to the layout tab and choose option as use custom form layout so you can see an a window has been opened for us and here we can create the custom layout let's start so you can see there are some fields already populated which we have created in the form so here we can insert so this will be our label let's put in validation here and let's put here as input now enter and uh, let's select the second option as label then we can select as validation and then we can select as input let's do it uh, as same for the other options as well here is our phone number let's enter let's do it for email address now let's do it for address so all the fields are completed now let's put the last as button now save the form now if you switch to the form tab we can see that our form layout has been changed and it will be yeah it will be rendered as the custom form layout so for example if you want to do any customization here so we can do it using the custom form form layout let's go to the switch tab source tab and uh, here we can put this in a div if you want to make any customizations here so for example we need to give some style here you can do it via css as well for example uh, we are going to give some margin here let's save it let's check our form so you can see our css has been implemented so similarly you can uh, create your own form here and you can give all the design images etc whatever you want to do and you can also add uh, validations here you can also write uh, uh, javascript code here for for example you want to add some javascript code here some validations or something like that then you can add your script tag here as like this you can also add any reference 
of uh, any external script so that you can use those functions so let's add here as console.log test let's save it so let's see if it is working so you can see that our javascript also working so uh, to cut short this video uh, we will only cover the custom layout part in this uh, video so i'll create another video in which i will be uh, demonstrating to prevent duplicate entries in the candy forms so for example if you want to uh, if you are a customer and uh, you are making a similar entry so right now there is no validation to prevent the custom uh, the uh, duplicate entries so for that i will create another video to showcase how to prevent those duplicate entries so you can see that there are so many duplicate records so we will see in next video how to prevent duplicate entries thank you for watching this video have a nice day